Good morning, folks. Much respect to Martin Reitz took amazing photos of Sakurajima's energetic eruptions. Another good video on tap is a tribute to Messenger. You will recognize many of these images from past videos. Universe Today has the compilation. We've got it linked for you below. West coast of Canada began rumbling last night. The tremors continued through the night in the Western Hemisphere. The alert level has been raised in central Java, fearing a volcanic eruption. Let's add to the global toxic algae explosion, this time in Northland, New Zealand. This is the February temperature anomaly. Red is hot, blue is cold. Taken as a whole, it was a warm month. Top weather stories begin with Cyclone Tim in the Coral Sea, set to pump the brakes and hang out here for a while. We see Eastern Europe way, way warmer than Western Europe. They're getting tag teamed by a group of powerful lows. You know these drive counterclockwise, which means warmer African and Mediterranean air heads up the leading east edge while Arctic chill slides down the trailing western side. Clouds match exactly and explain the temperature gradient. In the US, a slow creeping counterclockwise low is having its leading edge reinforced by a clockwise high to the southeast, while another low exiting New England will have its western edge southern pull aided by the high pressure system to the west of it, chilling areas that had warmed up just a day earlier. Speaking of warming, I didn't have to wait long for this to hit Ohio, did I? Well folks, if the title didn't give this away, let me say that this nice looking filament movement from last night was only the beginning. First, you should all know we had medium sized CMEs set to strike Earth. They are doing so now a few hours late, but with somewhat more speed than expected. Magnetic disturbance is beginning. The waning inductions from yesterday appear set to return as well. We'll keep watch for auroras and geomagnetic storms, but we have way, way more. This might be difficult for you to see. It is Earth eclipsing the SDO satellite during the middle of a long duration event. A filament destabilized between the turning active regions and unleashed a massive CME. And when a filament's hider flare registers in the M range, the filament explosion should probably be compared to the CME of an X-class solar flare. There is no good SDO imagery of this, so we go to the GOES SXI. What you should note is that usually solar flares expel particles in a CME, but filament eruptions like this lift off first and the magnetic reconnection snapping together cause the flaring radiation. Usually filament tsunamis produce a C flare at most. Soho Lasco data shows the plasma going in all directions. This is a halo eruption and indicates that Earth is directly in the line of fire. Putting the Stereo Core 2 images with Earth in the center confirms that this will strike our planet. The endless spirals are not updated, so check the comments throughout the day for updates on potential severity of impact. Lastly folks, with our planet just starting to take this interplanetary shockwave, and the gong doesn't show much chance of the coronal hold being geo-effective, but the field line suggest it is possible and the SDO here suggests that it is growing after the blast. Seismic watch must be set, along with alerts for auroras starting when the sun goes down. Chances for a geomagnetic storm? Er Comp de Zona. Eyes open. No fear at 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.